Hello. Uh, bought it is a uh, Yamaha EF1000 uh, generator from garage sale. So I want to say this thing was sitting there for many years and uh, not start. So so cheap. So I bought it. And uh, I used to work on the small engine just for a hobby and didn't do anything for a while. So. So I decided, you know, it must be the carburetor the problem. And a couple of days ago, I did an initial clean, not too much clean. It did a run, but a surge. So today, I did a get a good clean. Didn't try it yet. Before I put it back together, I think I should uh, uh, make a video to show the people if they have a similar problem how to uh, clean the carburetor, at least the steps to take apart. Try to find the similar information online, really didn't see anything. So, uh, that's what I, I will show you how I did. Uh, the general stuff is uh, like a maximum is uh, 1000 watts. So, it's good enough for like a electricity uh, shortage. So in the front, and basically it's a control panel here, so it's a stop, which uh, shut off the fuel too, and the arm and the uh, choke when you start the engine. Start the engine, you let it warm up a little bit, and then move to arm. And you have two outlets, and uh, you got a meter here, and the running indicator, when it's uh, green, it's good, and all your warning lights. If all your load, it will be red, and also you have a 12 volt this is 10 amp good for uh, charging the car battery if your car stuck somewhere you have nothing to do it you got a generator you can charge it uh, so this thing is uh, quite a heavy I guess it's uh, probably 50 pounds it's all metal and the first thing that you can do is the panel the back panel can take off with the remove the four screws, you can see one, two, three, four, and very easy remove the back panel. Now in the side panel, and you can remove it with the four screw remove two, one, two, three, four, and uh, I chose the panel to make the uh, generator the whole body rigid. After remove it, it kind of wobbles. So. Um, I guess uh, the, they depend on each other to make the things uh, uh, sturdy. Actually, when you put the ba panel back t together, it's a pretty sturdy one. And it's a cold start of pole things. And uh, here is the carburetor. So, when you're going to take off the carburetor, I would say if you have some knowledge about a small engine, otherwise, uh, uh, just be careful. Uh, do step by step and don't miss anything. Remove the fuel line clamps and uh, remove the fuel line to the uh, carburetor. And uh, the, the fuel will not drain because uh, you shut off here. So, which is a good thing. And uh, the second thing that you do is uh, you you remove the uh, this cable. This cable is to uh, control the engine speed. So, you need a 10 milliliter uh, wrench to loose it. And after loose it, you can take it off. Which this one is, uh, it's a suppose. It's hard to do one hand. It's uh, sitting inside here, the bracket, and hold it there. Oops and hold it uh, here and uh, you can see in the front it has a hole and put the cable and the screen there so so this control make it uh, uh, suppose when it runs smooth so it's not uh, up and down too much so and uh, here is the air cleaner this one is uh, so bad it's a uh, uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, rotting in pieces so I removed the air can press the clean. Probably I, it's hard to find the original one just to get any uh, sponge will do. Um, 
those two screws is the main screws you can lose it and uh, take the uh, carburetor uh, off the engine and uh, this is a, a, a piece you can separate it here so make you uh, take off you don't have to take the whole things off the engine so you can just uh, swing the things out so you can remove two bolt, bolts and you can take the carburetor off so the carburetor off you can see here is a, a screw there's a lot of tiny holes there so um, so you have to take it out and clean it and after the take the carburetor off there's one gasket here then there's a metal piece a heating shield I believe it's uh, make sure the carburetor is not a effect by the heat so this is uh, the first time they fell off I even didn't notice until I put it back and today I did a deep cleaning so I put this piece back and uh, the carburetor itself is just like any carburetor and uh, use a 10 milliliter wrench you can uh, remove the bolt, a bolt underneath and uh, take off the cover and it's a fixed jet the jet was uh, was uh, gunked up by the old fuel, so I cleaned it. And uh, if you do not have a very tiny uh, wires, so you can get a tiny wires of the metal brush. Let me show you. All right, you have a little brush around. Just uh, pull one out. They are perfect. They are small and tough and uh, can uh, clean those tiny holes without cause any damage. So, and uh, so that's a video. Not a really step by step, but it gives you some idea how to take it apart. Uh, this is the spark plug, and uh, you can. Uh, I did a ch check it, it looks good and uh, it's running so I will leave as it is. So this is the uh, governance thing. So this one surgeon will make this movement. And uh, so today I took it apart to give a better clean. Hopefully I will fix the surgeon problem. Um, let's see what else. Here is the muffler exhaust. And uh, here, there's a, a, a few plugs, and uh, this is a few funnel actually. You change uh, no, not few. I'm sorry, it's engine oil. Uh, this thing is uh, you unscrew the plug. Basically, you just add oil until it's overflowed, and that's the right amount. And you can put uh, the, uh, the the funnel here and add a uh, uh, engine oil. So. Uh, and you know, I was going to change after I fixed the surgeon problem. That's basically. Okay. I think that's enough. So, um, so just uh, give us some basic information. Hopefully, uh, help you if you have the same or similar generator when uh, clean the carburetor. So, not too hard, but just. Uh, uh, don't miss any small parts, that's all. Thank you.